Hello, everybody. Oh, God, creeper. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen us in the same place at the same time? Some of you probably thought we were the same person, but I assure you, we are not. Apologize for the stupid humor. I just woke up. It's like 7 in the morning, and that is, is. before my awake time. So. I woke him up like five minutes ago. Yes. So the reason we are up this early is we are going to see someone, and it's a secret, even though you guys already saw the thumbnail <laughs> and title, so <laughs> you already know. It's a secret. <laughs> but no one else knows, so <laughs> consider yourself privileged. Yes. Um, and this is a new camera, so... Uh, one, it shouldn't be as shaky because it's got some nice like stabilization stuff. Chelsea's a wonderful camera person. And um, yeah, I'm not sure about the audio. This is like one of the first times we've used it, so sorry if the audio is bad. Hopefully it's fine. Yeah, but... Our kitchen's really small, so maybe it's just like good sound in here, you know. Yeah, I'm sure it's nice and echoey. But, <laughs> um, so we are going to be visiting Joel Telling as you guys saw and we're super excited about it we haven't announced on twitter we're just going to drop the bomb when we get there we're going up to see him in washington never been up to the pacific northwest so i'm excited about that yes. um we've got a three hour drive ahead of us before we get on the plane so yeah so we're gonna stop and grab some breakfast pizza mm -hmm. and an energy drink because i got like three hours of sleep mm -hmm. and then we're we got to get there like now also, sorry, um, there's probably going to be some like shifting camera quality because I'm going to film some of it on my phone just for ease of use so I don't have to whip out this big bad boy on the plane, stuff like that. So apologies if the audio and video quality are all, all over the place. Oh, perfect shirt for today too, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, I'm repping my 3D printing nerd shirt. Going to be a, a super true fanboy. Yes, so. we are. It's fine. We're not ashamed. Yep. So. All right. All right. Hey guys, Ed and Garrett here, uh, testing out the new camera with the set, uh, trying some things out. But anyway, I'm just popping in real quick to explain what happened because I don't have footage that covers the entire trip because one, vlogging in real life is hard and two, I really like being in the moment when I'm uh, on trips and talking to people that I like um, and nothing takes you out of the moment like needing to whip out a camera and film some stuff. So um, that's why I have some incomplete footage so please forgive me, I will kind of be narrating uh, the footage that we do have. But the big thing here is we got to Seattle and we met up with Joel. I'll take the long road. Joel's taking the long road. I'm gonna take the long road. We are finally with Joel. We're in Seattle. Uh, the weather is way better up here than Nebraska. But uh, Joel took us to his famous coffee shop. So good. He got a Joel. I did get a Joel, a regular Joel. And then he also turned us on to uh, what Chelsea has back there. It's an Italian soda, which is like, it's, it's if seltzer. You guys explain it. Okay, an Italian soda is seltzer, a flavor, and uh, ice, and a little bit of cream if you want it. This one has Red Bull in it, though. Instead of seltzer, you can add Red Bull. And it's then the, so good. It's so good. And mm. you got cherry? Mm hmm It is really good. I had one. It's but. delicious. So I recommend you try that. What's the name of the coffee place? It is called Cafe Aroma. Cafe Aroma. Cafe Aroma. And what was the, it was Heather and... Zeke. 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 You guys awesome. make good stuff. 
Zeke's awesome. He's got purple hair. We just he met does. Heather, though. Yeah. She seemed awesome, too. Mm. Yep. Heather's legit. All right, we've um, already filmed one video, sort of. We gotta finish it, but. Gotta finish it. We've been productive and only been here for about a day, so we will check back in in a bit. After that, we just kind of hung out. We got to meet Joel's family and Joel's puppies, and a Sean appeared. We got to eat some great food, um, and then Joel even took us, along with his family, to Pike's Place Market, which we had never heard of before, but apparently is pretty famous around the world. And it was really cool. Um, one thing that stood out to me is everything is huge there. Like, all the fruit was huge. Um, the seafood was massive. It, like, their normal size seafood was bigger than our jumbo size seafood here. But I guess I can understand the lack of seafood considering the lack of seas around us in Nebraska. Also, they do this fish throwing thing there that I guess is uh, pretty famous. Chelsea caught some cool slow-mo footage of it. We also got to see the famous gum wall, which was uh, pretty cool, but also pretty gross. But now I'm a part of it, so that's cool. We also drove past the Space Needle, which I had heard of before. And then once we got back, we got to watch Sean try his hardest not to fall off of these hover shoe thingies. And we also got to try out Beat Saber, which Chelsea and I had never done before. And that game is super fun. I want one of those super bad. And while we were up there, we also got to film a couple of videos. Uh, we, Chelsea and I were in one of Joel's Fan Mail Fridays. I will put a link in the description so you can check that out. You guys can learn the value of money with me. And then we also filmed a video for my channel, which involved printing a bunch of Chelsea Super Meat Boy model on a bunch of different printers with a bunch of different filament. Um, but some of the video footage got kind of corrupted and the audio is really terrible on all of them. So I'll see what I can get out of that, but um, no promises on that video. The next day we got to go for a little drive and go down to the Protopasta headquarters and meet all of the cool Protopasta people and they were kind enough to show us around their headquarters and uh, show us their machines that they used to make all the filaments and um, just kind of see the process of how filament is made which is really cool. All right, so we are at Proto Pasta. We came up to the headquarters with Joel, um, and we are actually going to be making our own colors. You can see all the stuff back here. Um, I'm not really sure how this is going to go, but it's going to be interesting. And um, they're going to hold our hand through it, I think. So that'll definitely help. Yes, definitely. But, Maybe. Um, this video will be up on Joel's channel at some point. I don't know the release schedule, so if it's up, I'll put a link in the description. But otherwise, make sure you subscribe to Joel, so you can. Uh, see these videos, but we'll give you a little demo or a little preview at the, the end of this whole process. Yes, mine will be the best. I don't know, it depends whenever you have Probably. everything prepped.
All right, we oh, have made yeah. our filaments. I'm not going to show them in detail because you got to watch Joel's video for that. Um, there, there's Joel, but this is Chelsea's filament. A little sneak peek. This is my filament. So good. And then, so good thank you, man. Here's my filament. That is Sean's filament. Yeah, he, he got the, two spools. I did get two spools because we had to make. You know, this was just kind of a throw up at the end with all the, the, all, the all the remaining color. Just You'll see in Joel's see video. He's an overachiever. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are finishing up here at Proto Pasta. Everyone say hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. Thank you guys for letting us invade, and they let Chelsea use one of their toys here. That's dangerous. Yeah, she's about to knock over some gnomes, I think. Maybe. Do it. That's awesome. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, I think you broke one of them. Those are crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, <no>. <laughs> And these are the filaments. Um, this one's Chelsea's, this one's mine. And we will be doing a specific video next week, I believe, um, showing off these filaments. We're going to print some stuff with them and then show you guys in detail what they look like. But if you want to see the process of how we made these, um, Joel and Sean actually filmed the whole thing and it's over on Joel's channel. I'll put a link up in the corner, also down in the description. So go check that out, show it some love. And you guys can actually pre-order this filament right now. Um, it's up on the Protopasta website. They're basically doing a, sort of a trial run, but I think it's a limited run, so I don't think these are gonna be available again. So if you want to get these colors, make sure you get them now because I can't promise they'll be available again. And I will expand on this in next week's video, and I think Joel talks about it in his um, but they do these filament workshops at Protopasta. So if you can make it to the Portland area, um, I definitely recommend doing this because you can go in and actually create your own filament and they'll walk through this process with you. It's super cool um, and it's just, it's just really special. All right, guys. Well, we are obviously home um, back in Nebraska, and I had a whole ending to this um, planned. Um, I wish it was a happy ending, but unfortunately, about two to three hours before we got home, um, we got news that Riley, um, our dog that had the surgery, um, on he tore his ACL uh, back in November, and he's been recovering and, you know, um, link to the video if you are unaware of the situation. But in that video I mentioned that there's like a 50 or 60 percent chance that um, when a dog tears their ACL that they'll tear, tear the other one due to um, them putting all the strain on that leg and sure enough um, Riley tore his other ACL. Um, I guess he took off after a rabbit and that was the end of it. And I guess he got it pretty good this time. He tore the the main tendon and three other tendons in that leg. Um, so, but we got him in and he's already had his surgery and everything. So he's recovering. We're going through the process again. We've got all the couches blocked off. Um, but this time we're really, really going to try not to let it stop us from doing things on the, on the channel because we kind of had an opportunity here, um, to really make the channel work, um, and become something better. And I'm not going to let this stop us, uh, but it is going to be pretty difficult so forgive me if I'm inconsistent with things, but I'm gonna try my hardest to have somewhat regular videos, get some models going again, and just kind of return to form. And I hope to, to do things that are uh, bigger and better than they used to be. So if you guys wanna help support the channel and um, keep us going through all this, I am gonna turn on the channel memberships on the channel. Um, if you look down next to the subscribe button, there's a join button. Um, and I'm not sure pricing and everything like that. If you click that button, it'll tell you. Um, I, I haven't really gone through it before, so this is new to me, but it is a way that you can um, show your support for the channel. Um, if you can't afford it or just don't want to, that is absolutely fine. No pressure to do so. Um, but if you do, just know that that means the world to us and it, it really will help keep us going and, you know, make this channel what we know it can be. 
Um, like I said, check back. I'm really going to try to have another video next week um, talking about these filaments, especially since it's a limited run. I want that video to go up before the, the run is over. So, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, keep creating.